I think it's really important that the Democrats, whoever they nominate, it better be a fighter. I think I've shown a unique ability over the last five to six months to take the fight to Donald Trump. And in the event I decide to run, that's going to be a big part of my message. Out of the courtroom and into the critically important early voting state of Iowa. Michael Avenatti, attorney for adult film actress Stormy Daniels, is taking a big step toward introducing himself to voters today. He will speak at the Iowa Wingding in about an hour. I spoke to him about an hour before we came on the air and asked him if he thinks he can win. He said, quote, there's a handful of people who can beat Donald Trump. I think I'm one of them. Democrats have made a mistake by underestimating Trump or thinking he can't win again or that he only won because of 80,000 votes in a few states. Democrats need a candidate who takes him seriously and an opponent who can connect with voters to defeat him and I think I can. Voters will make that determination of course but I've had a sneak peek at his prepared remarks for tonight and they hit a lot of the right notes telling his personal story talking about shaking up Washington and bringing more non-politicians into DC but running for president your first campaign is straight up crazy right? Donald Trump didn't think so but will it work for Michael Avenatti? The panel's still here. What do you think? It could. I mean, <laughs> I mean, every time I was like, no, it can't. This is no, just trolling Trump. I thought, well, you know, someone said that about, we all said that about Trump. I said that about Trump. Yeah, and, and Trump made it happen uh, in, a, in a Republican Party a few years ago. I mean, you look at the field of Democrats right now, and Avenatti's the one who stands out. He's the one who's not a politician, who's not a senator or a governor or a mayor or what have you. And you know, if he gives the base what they're looking for and shows that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Trump, he'd have a chance. And I think that the, the determining sort of factor for him will be what do Democrats value most? If they decide they value a fighter most, yes. people would be foolish to underestimate Michael yeah. Avenatti. I have always said that they need a fighter. That, that's why I said, you know, whether it was Elizabeth Warren or, or the governor of Virginia, you need someone who's actually going to go head to head with Donald Trump. You need someone who's not going to try and take the high road because the high road doesn't work with this guy. And to be honest with you, look, you know, an Avenatti holder ticket, who knows if that ends up being effective one way or another. Um, but I don't think we're at a point anymore. And, and this is always important to remember when you run against a president who's already in office. This. Democrats are going to want to win. And whoever they think can win, regardless of what his or her background might be, that person can be ahead. And if Avenatti can give a good speech, why not? Um, the asymmetry to me seemed to be what um, led the, the 16, 17 Republicans who ran against him and ultimately Hillary Clinton to lose. You know, they, they tried running factually accurate ads. <laughs> Donald Trump didn't say anything factually accurate. They gave speeches. They prepared for their debates. He didn't do any of those things, and he won. I think this is a really bad idea, um, simply because Donald Trump ran as a celebrity and has become the worst president in history doesn't mean the Democrats should duplicate it. And Democrats are different than Republicans. They do care about governance. They do care about some of the policy issues. And I think looking at him, Democrats would and should be insulted that he thinks he can come into their party at the last moment and run for president. Well, I it's totally not the last moment. I mean, it's well, 2018. It, right. He's not been a political in his career in his life. Uh -huh. It's at the last moment. He hasn't been a Democratic operative. He hasn't right. been a Democratic candidate at any level. I do agree, however. They better get someone with a decent personality. Well, who is it? They haven't found one yet, so I guess they're going to go out looking. I, they have mayors. They have governors. They have uh, senators. I really haven't seen anyone who just grabs you by the throat. I have not met Ashley Parker, a Democrat who feels good about their pool for 2020. I haven't met a Democrat who feels good about Bernie Sanders. I haven't met a Democrat, I mean, other than people who work for Bernie Sanders, who feels like Joe Biden would be. I haven't met a Democrat who likes their odds with anybody else. So I'm not advocating for another person that hasn't worked in politics. I'm just saying, why not? So uh, there's a lot of things, as we all know, running for president that the Democrats may still value, like understanding of policy and someone who can withstand. I've been to that movie, by the, the way. I can tell those Democrats how it ends. The, yeah. the media yeah. We, we used to care about national security. The, and you know. Fair. The one thing I will say that is compelling about him is Democrats, whoever they nominate, will be need to be someone who understands the Trump psychology, who can go one on one with him and who isn't going to be dismissed by a silly nickname or being called sleepy. And Michael Avenatti has shown and keep in mind, all those women came out during the campaign. They did not break through. It was not until he began representing these women with his tactics that he was able to bring that issue to the forefront. Does that qualify him to be the Demo Democratic nominee for president? Probably not, certainly not necessarily, um, but it does show he can command the media attention and has that showmanship that the president has, which is important in going head to head with him. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.